Sarah Kuperi. The company is Uplift Aeronautics. She comes to us from the USA. Are you ready to finish strong? I am ready to finish strong. Finish strong. <laughs> Thank you. Imagine a chemical attack in Syria tomorrow. The border shuts down. Pilots trying to deliver humanitarian aid are risking their lives. Truck drivers, it's actually punishable by death or torture right now to deliver medical supplies in Syria. We have developed a system using drones, a conveyor belt of aid delivery, a complete UAV system based out of Stanford, California. We've designed and developed UAVs to travel 150 kilometers, airdrop 2 kilograms, and autonomously return home. But not just the aircraft is important, it's also the software behind it. We work with an open source community of thousands of programmers to build the technology of peace and build the technology of the future. On the bottom right, you can see Swarmify. It's something we're working on to get multiple drones up in the air at the same time so we can support hundreds of kilograms of aid per night. And I was pretty honored the last couple of days. We've been pitching at Microsoft. Microsoft believes in what we're doing. They agreed to come on board with us and help build the first prototype for drone airspace management. This is at their hackathon out in Palo Alto. Technology is inherently neutral. It's what you do with it that matters. We are Uplift Aeronautics, a team of over 70 volunteers around the world. From Stanford aerospace engineers, to Harvard Law students, to peacemakers in Geneva, and UAV tinkerers in Australia. But, I'm not a typical pitch here. I'm not here asking you for money. We're completely supported by the crowd. What I'm here asking you for today is partnerships and drone enthusiasts to get in contact with me. I moved to Istanbul five days ago, and I'm building a drone community here in Istanbul. If you want to get involved, let me know. Technology is neutral. It's what you do with it that matters. Flying in a couple of months and 
test us to start delivering aid, but we have to make sure we go through all the appropriate channels. Thank you. What is the, what kind of, at this moment, what is the largest obstacle that you're encountering and how to solve it? The politics. politics. Uh, it's really a political minefield to deliver aid in Syria because you have to consider who do you partner with, who are you delivering it to, and what are the implications of both of those situations. Um, we are in conversations with many, many different groups, and almost all of them are gung ho, but they need signed off from either the legal team or from um, another check the box person. So I'm in this. 